Welcome back to the Solo Promoter YouTube channel and welcome back to Outlaw Championship Wrestling. We have a great night of action for you here tonight. We are coming to you live from the St. Louis Arena in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, the date is May 24th, 1980. And what a stacked card. We have a main event of a steel cage match between Ernie Ladd and Ken Patera. Before we get going, uh, I do want to thank all the Golden Circle channel members who helped make the videos on this channel possible. If you would like to become a Golden Circle channel member, uh, just go ahead and click that join button. You need to be on a desktop computer or a laptop computer. It doesn't seem to work uh, on mobile, uh, but uh, that's the place to go to help support the videos on this channel. Also, I want to let you know that I am using the FG Assistant app to play out this card truly making it outlaw uh, if you would like to know more about the fg assistant app you can head on over to patreon.com forward slash fg assistant and all the information you need uh, will be there now i do want to say that i am using a pre-release version of fg assistant so some of the things that you may see as i click around on here may not be available in the currently publicly released version um, but there you go uh, that's uh, that's what it is. All right, we're going to head over to our first match, ladies and gentlemen. And our first match is going to be Jay Youngblood uh, taking on the one and only Killer Khan. And of course, in the corner of Killer Khan will be um, none other than Gary Hart. Gary Hart uh, has stepped in trying to get uh, some wins here for Kamala and Killer Khan. Uh, now, Gary Hart does have a, sort of a, a mechanic. Um, but it's only for the uh, Great Kabuki and the Great Muda. He does have this uh, uh, thing for other wrestlers as well, though. Uh, so roll on this chart. Uh, this may be used twice uh, per match in place of the normal interference match. So uh, let's head over here. We will add our match counters to this side over here, the red corner. Um, we are going to have distraction attempts. Uh, only one of those. And uh, adding another one over to the red corner. Uh, manager interference attempts. There will be two of those. All right. We got those in there. All right. Here we go. This is Jay Youngblood versus Killer Khan. Rolling the dice and starting things off. And it looks like Killer Khan is going to start things off with shrieking overhand chops. That is a power move. That will work. Jay Youngblood reverses it, though, with a scoop slam, uh, but that will not work. There's some shrieking head stomps. Hurt, too. Uh, fish hook. Uh, Jay Youngblood reverses it again. Double team move. Can't use that, so we're going to roll up. Monkey flip. That will work. He does have the agility, but Killer Khan reverses it. Into the turnbuckle goes Jay Youngblood, uh, and you catch the charging opponent with a skull-splitting lariat. They go down hard. Opponent rolls on level 3 defense. Hurt 2. Can't use that double team move. Go behind takedown 1. Killer Khan reverses it. Oriental Spike, three, add one. Jay Youngblood hurt here. He is down. Tree of Woe, three, add one. So we'll add one. Disqualification four. Um, killer uh, Gary Hart's not going to interfere here. The disqualification is a four. He is not disqualified, so that will work. Uh, down three, Jay Youngblood going to stay in the ring. Side Backbreaker, three, Choice G, Let's see, his death jump is an A, but he's going to go for the power move. This will work on a 9 or less. And a 7, it does work. And Jay Youngblood is in trouble. And uh, next is a, that's just a hurt 2. And uh, Vicious Throat Chop, 3, down 3. Jay Youngblood is going to roll out of the ring. A Raw Brawler Up, so wrestler with a better ring rating. That's Killer Khan. He's going to roll on level 3 offense. And he tosses uh, Jay Youngblood. He doesn't uh, think this way, but he's like, hey, you want to go out of the ring? We'll go out of the ring. He tosses him out of the ring. He crawls helplessly back in. And there is the Killer Knee Drop. Um, roll 2 dice, 2 to 7, play normally. Uh, the roll's a 9, 8 to 10, uh, second rope killer knee drop, plus two. So the target here is going to be seven, 
And uh, the roll is an eight, so he is able to kick out. But Jay Youngblood now busted wide open. Side backbreaker, going to go for the power move again. This will work on a nine or less. It does. Down three again. Jay Youngblood going to leave the ring. Grabs Killer Khan, whips him into the turnbuckle post, throws him back in, rolls on level three offense. There's a kneeling arm bar. Hurt too. Jay Youngblood coming back. Hammerlock. No, gets stopped by Killer Khan. Choice A. Let's see, a ropes or a B. He's going to toss him into the ropes. You come up the ropes, Rona puts you down with a running back elbow. Uh, Oriental Spike, three. Add one again uh, to Jay Youngblood. Oops, ignore that. That was the wrong thing there. Uh, level three defense over here. Down three. Again, he's going to leave the ring. Crawls helplessly back in. Gets tossed out of the ring again. Crawls helplessly back in. Side backbreaker again. Going to go for... Uh, the power move again, working on a nine or less. Nine gets it. It does work. Down three. He rolls out of the ring again, crawls helplessly back in. Choice G. Uh, again, he's going to do the power move. That does work. Uh, shrieking head stomps, two. Hurts, two. Fish hook, two. Down three. Uh, tossed out of the ring again. He crawls helplessly back in. Again, choice G. Again, going to go for the power. Nine or less. It does work. Hurt, two. Oriental spike, three. Add one. He's now at eight fatigue. Yikes. Um, and he is down, and he is rolling out of the ring. He drop kicks Killer Khan into the announce table. He might be disqualified here. No, he is not disqualified. He's going to roll on level three. There's a double arm suplex. That hits him. Target three. Roll of four. Uh, Gary Hart freaking out at ringside. Death jump. He's climbing up. Big clothesline from the top. The fans are going crazy. War dance and jumping chop. Hurt two. Choice A. Let's see. Uh, his ropes are a C. He's going to throw him into the ropes. Uh, one of his specialty moves and goes in for the kill. Roll on level three offense. Not going to throw him out of the ring. Choice A again. Going to go for the ropes. Uh, you cut the ropes. The opponent puts you down with a running back elbow. Uh, hammer lock two. Killer Khan. Uh, comes back with a headlock and thumb jab, but no, he ducks, and Jay Youngblood whips him into the turnbuckle, crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two. Choice A again, going to go for the ropes, throws him into the ropes. Big specialty move, death jump. He's climbing up. Um, who has the better agility rating? That's going to be Jay Youngblood. He hits a big move from the top, rolls on level three, not going to throw him out of the ring. There's a scoop slam, but no, Killer Khan able to reverse is it whips him into the turnbuckle and will roll on level two there's a mongolian chop down three out of the ring tosses jay youngblood out of the ring opponent rolls disqualification uh we are gonna have um gary hart roll his disqual his distractor rating here it is a fail it is a fail, so uh, Killer Khan will be rolling his DQ, which is a six, and he is disqualified. What a match to open things up here. Jay Youngblood wins uh, via DQ when, um, when Khan hits Youngblood with a chair. And uh, that will be a three and a half star match to start things out, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and let's see, uh, it was just a one and a three there. So uh, no other uh, no other things going on there. Let me just close this. Sorry, I have a lot of things going on. And uh, we will wrap up that match. A uh, great opener to start things off. A wonderful uh, night of action. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our next match is going to be David Schultz, Dr. D. David Schultz, taking on the one and only Mr. Wrestling 2. Let's get into it. We'll roll the dice. David Schultz going to start things up. Backbreaker. These two definitely want a win here. Uh, he has the power, so that will work. That is a hurt two. Fist drop to face three. That catches him. Target three. Roll four. One fatigue there. There's a scoop slam. Down three. And on rolls of one to four, uh, roll one die. And rolls from one to four. Play normally. On rolls of five or six, the opponent tries to remove uh, Mr. Wrestling 2's mask. 
Um, and he takes over on level two offense. So we'll roll one die here. The rolls are one. So we're just going to play normally. Um, Mr. Wrestling 2 is going to roll out of the ring. He crawls helplessly back in. There's a pile driver. Down three. Again, we'll roll one die here. It's a four, so we're playing normally. Uh, and he is going to roll out of the ring again and again and going to crawl uh, back in. There's the second rope elbow smash. So the target here will be five. The roll is a 10. Another fatigue for Mr. Wrestling 2. And another elbow smash. Target six. Roll is 10. Uh, and that uh, Mr. Wrestling 2 starts bleeding through his mask. And there's a second rope elbow smash again. Target seven. Roll five. That is it. Super strong performance here from David Schultz. Uh, finishing off with a second rope elbow smash. And uh, that will be a two-star match. But how many times did he hit this in a row? One, two, three. Uh times three look at that all right that will end that match and we will head to our next match which is coco samoa uh who recently lost to jerry the king lawler but has having been having some great matches uh gary hart once again in the corner of um of uh, great kabuki i should add some match counters just permanently to gary hart and uh, that would make things easier here uh, so let's see, distraction attempts, there can only be one, and then um, manager interference attempts, there can be two. All right, here we go. Let's see if Coco Samoa can put an end to the reign of terror of the Great Kabuki. Well, he's going to start off on defense, so no. Kick to the midsection. Uh, but it's a power move. Coco Samoa has the power. Fights back with a headbutt. Oh, that catches him. Target three. Row 12. Roll 12. So big kick out there. The fans loving this. Locks him into a full Nelson. He is down. Springboard clothesline three. Catches him again. Uh, Gary Hart going to use a distractor attempt here. He is uh, fit to be tied. It is a success. Um, so, uh, we will add one fatigue there. Coco Samoa still in control. Not going to throw him out of the ring. Hits him with another headbutt. That catches him again. Yikes. All right. So, um, Gary Hart going to roll on his chart, uh, which is the green mist chart. Uh, green mist three. Hart distracts the referee so his wrestler can... Uh, blind the opponent with a deadly green miss. Kabuki uh, gets the victory. Automatic pin. And we're going to roll one die for an injury here. Well, we're going to end the match. Uh, but we will roll uh, one die. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Roll one die. Uh, and it's a four. So he is going to be injured for four cards. Wow, that's the second person uh that he has put out uh so add injury coco samoa is uh, injured and um uh blinded by green mist and uh injury date yep injury length is uh four cards uh, so just four. And, uh, well, we'll just use that regular icon that's there. Okay. Uh, Great Kabuki defeats Coco Samoa. Green Mist. Coco Samoa is injured for four cards. Uh, Gary Hart, happy about that as we head back down to ringside. All right, we are back for our next match. And look at this, folks. We have the debut of a brand new tag team. Uh, Ron Simmons and Butch Reed, uh, tired of uh, not getting much success in singles, have uh, decided to 
um, join together in a tag team called Doom. Uh, and they'll be taking on the Junkyard Dog and Mr. Olympia. And we're going to start with Ron Simmons uh, taking on the Junkyard Dog. Ron Simmons is going to start with a back rake. Junkyard Dog reverses it. Body slam. Choice D. And uh, going to go for... Ooh. Uh, yeah, going to go for the agility. This will work on an 11 or less. Seven, it does. Hurt two, he's going to try and tag out. Needs a six or less. Can't do it. Uh, hip toss two, but it's a power. Though they have equal power, so that will work. Hurt two, going to try and tag out. No, not able to do it. Uh, into the turnbuckle. Whips uh, Ron Simmons into the turnbuckle. Crushed by a big kick. Another whip into the turnbuckle. Bounce forward. Catches JYD with a neck-breaking clothesline. Opponent rolls on... Uh, Level three offense. Wait, 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 wait. You bounce forward and into it. Okay, I read that wrong. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. Junkyard Dog jumping headcracker two. Hurt two. Atomic drop three. Pin. That's his pin. Uh, they're not going to use a pin save here. The target is uh, three. The roll is a five. There's one fatigue there. Junkyard Dog with the big thump. Uh, they're going to use one of their pin saves here. Uh, your tag partner tries to help you, but stopped by Mr. Olympia. So this is plus two. Target six. Roll is a 10. He is able to kick out. And there is a football tackle. Hurt two. Multiple jabs two. Ron Simmons reverses it. Right uppercut two. Hurt two. He is going to tag out to Butch Reed. Butch Reed. Uh, comes in, and he rolls on level two. There's a big clothesline on JYD. Hurt two. Uh, into the turnbuckle. No, he's going to roll up. Kick to stomach. Junkyard Dog reverses it. Multiple jabs, two. Hurt two. Atomic drop, three. Hurt two. Into the ropes. Whips him into the ropes. He comes off the powerful flying shoulder tackle. There's a big clothesline on JYD. He is down. He's going to roll out of the ring. Uh, and uh, Butch Reed follows him out of the ring and smashes him uh, into, uh, in, into, I don't know, into the table or whatever. Uh, and he may be disqualified. His DQ rating is a five. And he is. So their first match, their debut match, ends in a disqualification. Junkyard Dog picks up the victory over Butch Reed. DQ after a smash into the announce table. Uh, so not a great debut, but we will say that they uh, continue fighting after the bell, and uh, we will... Um, I'm going to give this one star. It didn't really earn one star, but we'll give it one star. Um, and uh, we will definitely be seeing a rematch uh, between these men. All right, next is our um, semi-main event, and that's going to be Jerry Lawler versus Terry Funk. Uh, Terry Funk just losing his bid uh, for the uh, North American Championship. Um, and Jerry Lawler uh, hoping that a victory here will put him in a title contention. Uh, so let's roll the dice. Let's ring the bell. It looks like Terry Funk's going to start things off with a front face lock. Dazed one. Keeps that face lock locked in. Dazed one. Overhead wrist lock. One. Dazed one. Into the ropes. Whips Lawler into the ropes. And uh, he comes off with a powerful flying shoulder tackle and a jumping stomp. But uh, Funk moves out of the way. Hits a neck breaker. Down three. Locks in the sleeper. Hurt two. Knee drop two. Jerry Lawler. Lawler reverses it. Jumping stomp two. Hurt two. Jumping stomp two. Hurt two. Head scissors two. Hurt two. Into the turnbuckle. Whips Funk in and he gets hit with a neck breaking clothesline. There is the pile driver. Uh, roll two dice on rolls of 10 through 12. Lawler throws a fireball. Uh, so no, it's just a three. So we'll play normal. It's a pile driver. So the target here is going to be four. The roll is an eight. There's one fatigue four funk second rope, second rope fist drop target three roll is a 10 and Lawler just in control here. Uh, let's see. He power is a zero. Is that correct? 
Yes, that is. Uh, he's going to go for the power move. Needs an eight or less. Seven gets it. Hurt two. Lawler with a vertical suplex down three. And uh, Funk going to roll out of the ring. Uh, the wrestler with the better ring rating. They're equal. So Lawler's going to win that brawl. Throws him back in. Choice G going to go for the death jump. Uh, but no, Funk recovers, throws him off the top, and hits a pile driver of his own. Oops, I clicked the... Okay, there we go. Uh, target here is going to be two. Roll is a six. And death jump, uh, Funk going up now. Um, but Lawler recovers and throws him off the top and then tosses him out of the ring. And... Uh, Funk whips him into the turnbuckle uh, post, and he may be disqualified here, and in fact, he is. And uh, that uh, ends with a, uh, a a feud roll there. So we will roll um, on the feud chart here. You're packed by the opponent's ally. Uh, I, I'm not going to do this. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm, I'd rather book them in a rematch than somebody be injured. Um, so... Uh, Jerry Lawler wins the match via DQ um, due to brawling. And uh, that's going to be a two-star match. These two need to be separated after the bell. I'd much rather have another match than have someone be injured. And the roster is so small anyway. Um, that's called promoter's uh, discretion. <laughs> All right, it is time for our main event, and it is a steel cage match. Let me get out my... Uh, I have the old Ringside Companion Volume 1. And this is a steel cage match between Ernie Ladd and Ken Patera. This is your main event. Uh, and we will be using cage ratings, uh, which I don't think I have done. Um, his cage is still a two, and his cage is a three. Oh, there we go. Cage down there. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I just didn't see the button down at the bottom. All right. So um, no DQs, no count outs. Um, face in cage three is a substitute for out of the ring. Let's roll the dice. And here we go. Ernie Ladd starting things off with an abdominal stretch, but Patera powers out of it. And a front face lock takedown. Hurt two. Backbreaker drop. Three on Ladd. He is down out of the ring. That's face into cage three. He is down. Elbow drop. Choice C. And going to go for the agility move. Uh, and this will work on an eight or less. Two. It certainly does. Hurts two. Front face lock takedown. Hurts two. Uh, Patera is on fire. Backbreaker drop. Down three. Nowhere for Ladd to run. There's the Pateraplex. Down three. Uh, death jump. He's climbing up and blasts him with a big clothesline. Death jump again. Climbing up. Another big clothesline. And another death jump. Climbing up. Struggle takes place. Better agility. That's going to be Patera. Patera shoves him off. Locks him in a bear hug. Down three. Death jump again. Um, but no, Ladd recovers and tosses him off and will roll on level three offense. Choice H. Let's see. His death jump is a B. His agility is a zero. Going to go for that eight or less. No, Patera able to reverse it. Jumping knee smash. Ernie Ladd reverses it. Elbow drop two. But Patera has the agility. Jumping knee smash two. No, he reverses it again. Body slam. Hurt two, a big boot to the face, down three, and Ernie Ladd with a choice H, um, going to do the death jump. He climbs up. Uh, whoever has the better agility rating, that's Patera. Patera tosses him off, hits the Patera plex again. Hurt two, jumping knee smash two, hurt two, second rope knee drop, and that catches him. Target two, roll is an eight. So there is one fatigue there. And uh, choice C, uh, going to go for the agility. This will work on an eight or less. Five, it does hurt two. 
And Patera with the backbreaker drop three, hurt two, front face lock uh, takedown two. Hurt two into the ropes, uh, whips him into the ropes, uh, but Lad hits him with a pile driver, rolls on level three offense, choice H. Uh, gonna go for the death jump again, blasts him with a big move from the top. There's the double leg drop, so the target here will be five, and the roll is a five, and just like that, uh, Ernie Ladd is able to escape the cage after a double leg drop. Uh, uh, so this will get uh, one star for a grudge match, and it'll be just a two-star match. Uh, but there you go, Ernie Ladd picking up the victory. Well, before we leave you here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, let's head on over to our uh, rankings and uh, see where everybody is here. Now, we got uh, big rematches to look forward to next time. Terry Funk versus Jerry Lawler. That is going to be crazy. And uh, Doom versus Junkyard Dog and Mr. Olympia. Um, so we got Ronnie Garvin, Terry Funk still at the top there. Butch Reed, Jerry Lawler, uh, not, uh, he's a little bit behind, but a big win there for Ernie Ladd. Ernie Ladd might be in contention, uh, for a title shot. So we will have to see what, uh, happens there. Um, and, uh, then if we click over to our non-singles rankings and get rid of our three-man teams, uh, and the people that left, uh, Doom in last place. Um, and uh, we need more tag teams. We're working on it. We're working on it. Well, that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here. Again, a big shout out to all the Golden Circle channel members. And again, if you want to find out more about FG Assistant, head on over to patreon.com forward slash FG Assistant. Thank you so much for being here, ladies and gentlemen. It is an absolute pleasure. And I will talk to you next time on Outlaw Championship Wrestling. Goodbye, everybody. Mm -hmm.